Hello everybody and welcome to my haunted house. My name is Hyper and welcome to a game called Arusal. Uh, it's a li little horror game. I don't really know what kind of genre it is. There weren't many tags uh, on the actual store page. But uh, it, I think it is note based so you're going to be going around reading lots of notes uh, so that you can experience the story and what they have. So let's just get in. It says, the new Welcome to Arusal and New Jerusalem. I don't know if that's part of the title or it's just some sort of biblical reference, I don't know. Oh, what a beautiful day for an outing. Find my cell phone, keys, tablet, and breakup letter. Okay, there's my keys. Okay, click. I gotta click to get those. I am booking it, holy crap. Or I just have really long legs, holy crap. Okay, did the game crash? Oh, okay. To Dakota from me. Wow, okay, I thought you were my friend. I'm going out to the mountains anyways, not that you care. Hey, so sorry, but something came up. We'll take our quads out next weekend for sure. I'll have to change the oil on mine, but that sounds like lots of fun. Let's go on Saturday. We should look for new trails on the mountains. Hey, forget Sam. If Sam doesn't appreciate you, that then that means we can spend more time together. We haven't taken our quads out together since we started dating. Let's take them out this weekend. Okay. So now, oop, okay. My mouse is on screen for a second. Okay, phone and breakup letter. So, oh. Am I breaking up with Dakota? Ah, that's not good. Okay, letter. Hey, it's really important that you read this whole thing before reacting, okay? I don't know if we can do this anymore. We're moving so fast. I don't know if I can keep up. When we are together, everything feels great. But when you're apart, I feel empty inside. It's so confusing to feel such joy and such pain inspired by the same person. I feel something holding me back, like a weight every time we are together. I know I smile when we are together because I really am happy, but the sadness I feel when we are apart confuses me. I don't like this part of myself, whatever it is. I know you like me, but it feels so unlovable. I think I need to work on understanding and appreciating this part of me, whatever it is. I don't think I can take keep this up until I sort my feelings out. We should take some time apart to see other people. I need some time with my friends, and I think you should spend some time with yours. I hope that you don't hate me for this. I really do care about you, but I need to sort out my feelings. See you around, Sam. Alright, why is there a fly in my house? Is that, a, that was a fly, right? I'm not crazy? Okay. Go away, Windows. It's fine. I don't have any vibes. Oh, that's a giant truck. Holy crap. It's massive. My goodness. It's like the size of a house. What the heck? Okay. Um, I guess we should go now. How do I go? Is this my door? There we go. Abandoned by your friends, you'll need to spend the day tearing up a new part of the mountains on your quad bike. <gasps> do I get to ride it around? Feels good to be outdoors. The wind whipping past you make, past makes you feel alive. You weave between the sparse trees. Then there's a harsh pain across your chest. There's a rope tied between those last two trees. The bike keeps going, but you are stopped midair. Then you fall into darkness. You wake up dazed. There's a woman outside digging, but digging what? It doesn't feel right. You have to get out of here. Okay, so, oh. Hi. How you doing? Just gonna stand there? Okay, cool. Yeah, let's leave. Oh, toilet. Oh, gosh, what is happening? What is that? Why, why is it happening? Oh, door's locked? Okay. I wonder if that's like my helmet or something, but it's, it's totally glitching in my head. Well, Diary, it certainly has been a while since I have leafed through your pages. I'm afraid that without a need for it, I have lost track of the date. Instead of dating my entries, I will number them from now on. It's nice to find you again, like making contact with an old friend. It will be even nicer to pour my thoughts and feelings into you again. I forgot how refreshing it was. I feel relaxed already. Life alone is, such, is a little more lonely than I expected. I suppose that is why alone and lonely are such similar words, but I have no regrets. Okay. The bridge collapsed today, diary. Perhaps I can find another route to the church. I still like to spend some time there occasionally. In death, my family is closer than ever before. Their sins will not be forgotten, however. Whoa, okay. I have... Oh, this is 35. The other one was the first one. Okay. I found all of the diaries. They are hidden away in their secret nooks, but in alcoves no longer. I'll spread their pages around the homes they used to inhabit, and in doing so, remind their haunting spirits of the misdeeds that sealed their fate. Surely everyone has some sin that could inspire a similar fate. Mine is the murder of my own family. If I can be corrupted like that, surely everyone has that fearful potential. 
Okay, so she just murdered her family? That's cool. 88. Diary? We have an intruder today. I wonder what sins weigh down their soul. At the very least, they have torn up the sacred valley with their vehicle. I alone, being the purger of sin, have the right to tread here. I will not allow this person to leave. March 15th, 1992 was the last time someone left this valley. I will bring them to the church and lay them down with the other sinners. Brad must be feeling quite alone after all this time. He did not deserve a grave next to my family. He can have the company of this stranger. Okay, so she's a psychopath. Cool beans. Um, anything else in this house? Uh, that's locked. Okay, so I guess we gotta go out this way. Oh, she's gone. Cool. What's she digging? My grave? Yes. Indeed she is. Where did she go? I'm concerned now. Okay. She must be in the church. Let's sneak in. Sneaky sneak. Sneaky sneak. Sneaky sneak. Okay, she's gone. Uh, any letters up here? No. Oh, oh gosh. I thought I just saw people sitting on the chairs for a second. Um. I don't see anything in here. Where do I gotta go? I have to avoid her, I'm guessing. Is this my truck? This is a horrible looking truck. Okay, whatever. Let's just sprint like a freaking Olympic athlete. Oh my gosh. Usain Bolt, I'm pretty sure. Uh, falling rocks. Okay, let's get some rocks to fall on me. Or not. Okay, cool. It's fine. Okay, we're now we're over here. More falling rocks. Jeez, it's like a whole little town, but she's actually murdering everyone. Um, okay. What's this? Oh, key. <gasps> okay, got a key. Can I go in this house now? Yes. What's in here? Book. I mean, note. Whatever. Well, I better grow up quick. Oh, this is a different guy, David. I, today I found out that I got Kathy pregnant. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> this guy's so angry. Wow. I have to find a job. I don't want to work in a mine because these guys always have a really bad cough. I can't be healthy, so maybe I could work on my dad as a mechanic? Okay, so that's one of the guys, the people's sins that she's talking about. What? I can't. Okay, whatever. I have the key. Um, okay, let's head upstairs. Anything else in here? Got a bed. Nope. Anything? Yeah. Now it's the day how grown Burnett is. Maybe this is her dad? I may have been start I may have to start sitting on my porch cleaning my guns so that all the boys in town know to keep their hands off my daughter. Both me and dad got married due to unplanned babies. I won't let that happen to my daughter. Kathy sure has been good to me lately. She made my favorite dinners every night this week. She has been smiling a lot more too. I'm glad she's finally out of the funk her parents left her in. It's been four years since they passed away. It seems like a long time to me, but then again, both my parents are still walking around. Dad still has not given me the business, but I'm making a decent amount of money, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that wasn't a very sinful letter. Um, just some more backstory on this guy. Okay, anything else in the house? I don't think so. Nope. Gosh, this is annoying. Just walking and having that glitch into my head every two seconds. Okay, well that's up here. This is like the manor. Where did that girl go? Totally gone. Any letters over here? No? Okay. In we go. Oh. Hi. Cool. Okay, let's go the other way. How about that? Um. Oh. That's a lot of chairs. Should I even bother try going upstairs? Oh, gosh. Ah, 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 ah. I don't know what's happening. Okay, let's read. Judy is pregnant. Okay. Uh, <laughs> my hands tremble as I write these words, both out of fear and out of excitement. I was of the mind that my little girl was still just that, but today she came to me and revealed she has become a woman. Seventeen is old enough to have a child, I suppose. Lord knows the minors I employ don't wait that long, so I can be grateful she has kept herself away from them. Her reputation may take a bit of beating, but the fallout is manageable. The boy himself has gusto. His name is Stuart, and he has just... Return, returned as a veteran of the Second Great War. From the stories I have heard, he seems ambitious. Ambitious. Perhaps I can turn that ambition to my advantage. He was the mechanic of a tank unit, so perhaps I can start a mechanic franchise through him. 
He sees passion enough, and it may be a way to turn the situation to my advantage. The profits from that, the coal mine, and the bank I operate will make me very comfortable indeed. Thinking about how, thinking about it now, it brings a smile to my face. When I first heard the news of my daughter's pregnancy, I was furious. Now I can see the opportunity unfolded before me. So that's not the other guy. So this is a that's a totally different couple who got pregnant unexpectedly. Okay. You can just walk into these things. Oh god, hello. Oh okay. Oof. That 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 gave me a good old tingle through my all the way down to my feet. Okay. I was not expecting you to be there. It seems Judy has finally figured out that her husband is less than desirable. Perhaps I'll introduce her to my protege, Brad. Brad truly has the ambition I once thought Stuart possessed. Nicking our families in this way will deepen the, his loyalty to me, and I want Judy to be happy after all. If I am to leave my fortune to my daughter, I prefer that she was with a man who can handle it properly. They are nearly the same age, too. Very convenient. This is 40 years after uh, the other note. So why did it take her 40 years to figure out that her husband was crappy? Okay. Confounded, Stuart. After so many years, my mechanic franchise venture has gone nowhere. Stuart is a self-obsessed buffoon with no drive for greatness. His one shop is barely profitable, and most of the business comes from servicing the trucks that haul coal from my mine to the train yard. His focus on the past has retarded my ambitions for long enough. Business is just good enough for Stuart, Judy, and their son David to live on. But Stuart does not have the ambition I once thought he had. He still talks mostly of the great Second Great War and his part in it. I understand his pride, but I do not understand his unwillingness to move forward in life. Judy's indiscretions have cost me over the years. She should have chosen better. Perhaps it is time to rack up this venture as a loss. My coal mine is still very profitable, and I need to focus on addressing the town's safety concerns. Working in a mine is perfectly safe, and it keeps them away from the hot sun after all. We should be, very, we should be grateful that I enable all of the cash flow in the town. Without my mine open, they would have to move away from their homes to find jobs elsewhere. Okay, so... Stuart is a parent of David, who uh, was a parent of that other girl. I can't remember her name now. Oh, crap. Okay, she caught me. Burnett. Cool. Um, okay, I didn't even... She wasn't even that close, I don't think. She just got me. Um, hi. Again. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, actually. Oh. I might need the key for that. Where is she gonna come down at? The key is upstairs. Um, unless I already have it. I don't know. I'll go. I'll go look. Let's see if I still have it. Yeah, I do. Um, okay. You walked so fast, Burnett. Come on. Okay. Well, I don't know what this key is for then, because um. Oh gosh, you got me. Okay, whatever. I so that means I should have the key. Do I have an inventory? Nope. Okay. Let's just head back. Oh, the bridge collapsed. That's right. They never fixed it. I swear that was so long ago. I don't remember what the date was, but okay. Well, crap. Now I can't get back out because the doors are locked again. Um, I don't know where to go. Okay, let's- oh, there's another bridge down there. I don't know what I'm looking for. Maybe I should sneak in so that she doesn't see me. Maybe. Oh gosh, she just teleports in. Don't look at me, don't look at me. Okay, I don't think she saw me. Never mind, she did. She saw me. Maybe let's get her to chase me outside. Crap, I don't know how to get out. The doors are closed, that's what happened. The door's closed. Um... I don't know what to do. The doors are closed, I can't get out. There's no keys here. Lynette, what are you doing to me? There's no- oh wait, can I escape out here? No. Of course not. Um... I don't know. I don't know where to go. I have no idea. It's not in there. I'm here. There's nothing. In there. Oh great! I'm dead. I don't know what to do. Oh gosh. 
Alright, so it saved the notes, but it didn't save the key. So I have the key now. Yes, yes, yes. Any notes on here? Oh, okay. Okay, I'm free, I'm free. We're good. Um, there's no, nothing here. Uh, where the heck do I go now? Do I just go around back? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, now I'm on this side. So that's good. Is she just gonna peer over here now? Oh gosh, man, you can totally speedrun this. Hi! Why are you just screaming? Just perpetually screaming. That's horrible. Okay, let's go upstairs. Where there's less screaming, hopefully. Nope, I can still hear him. Cool! Um, this is exactly the same. Okay. Thank you. Oh, they're dead now. Okay. I guess I have to walk. Uh, okay. Nice. That doesn't unlock the door. Hey, can you stop screaming? I get it. You're in agony and stuff. Whatever. Um. Hey, wasn't I just there? Ah, uh, whatever. Can I walk around this way? I can. There's nothing here. Cool. Wait. There's something hidden in the backyard. Ah, there is. That's weird. I couldn't open the door. There was like an obelisk hidden there. Okay. Whatever. Um. What is down here? Broken sign. A silo. Someone is screaming in here. Okay. People like to scream in this universe, apparently. Tonight I become a woman, and with a war hero. Stuart came home from war and had a look in his eye. I could not resist. Mechanics sure do have a way with their hands. Surely he means to make me his wife now. I've read enough to know what sex lead to, leads to. But what if he doesn't? Perhaps my body was all he was after since he has been away for so long. No, I must not think that way. The proper thing for me to do now is wait for him to call, and when he does, I must fight my urge to press the matter of marriage. It will be some time before I know if the pregnancy takes after all. I can't build everyone up only to discover that I am hysterical. Yes, I will wait for my beloved Stu to make his move. Then we can begin our lives together. Alright. Very nice. And now they're sitting and holding hands. Aw, so cute. As they scream in agony. Yay. Okay. Ooh, more letters. Stuart's demeanor is weighing on me heavily. Nearly 40 years have passed in our marriage, but unlike the wine in my glass, it has not aged well. He still tells the stories of bravado from his time in the service, and with his age, it has become quite a routine. Every time he uses the exact same words, I could recite them along with him, and I do so sometimes to interrupt his train of thought and to rile him up. But thank God for Father and the company of his friends. His protege, Brad, is a pleasure to talk to. I have seen the way he looks at me, too. What a naughty man. I'll see him again tomorrow. There's nothing wrong with seeking a better company than the buffoon I'm married to. Ooh. Oh, Stuart, you foolish man. How readily you shovel your own demise into your belly. There is something oddly satisfying about the way Stuart has been wasting away over time. This secret ingredient I sometimes put in his meals sure does the job well. I can withhold it for a few weeks and see him gain back his energy. Or I can give him a higher dose and see him struggle out of bed the next day. I have had quite a bit of fun over the past few months, but it, finally, it is finally time to end the charade. Stuart will not live to see the sun to rise tomorrow, and I can be with Brad as I was always meant to be. It's funny how life can make my twilight so beautiful. I have nothing but happiness ahead of me. No more monotonous stories for me. Farewell, Stuart. Perhaps we will meet again in the next world, but not until after I can finally enjoy this one. Dang, so you just straight up murdered him. That's brutal. Okay. I'm done in this house. I can't leave. Cool. Oh, I can. It's right here. Um. Anything over here? Just a bench. Nice little bench. It's a nice view. I like it. Okay. Let's keep going. To a seven. Terry? I actually didn't get a good look at what was in here. Um, there's no door though, so do I have to like hop off the cliff and so we can get in there? Let's try that. No, it's a horrible looking par car park, I guess. Um, can I jump off? Yes, I can. Ah! Oh my gosh, you're here. Okay, hi. How you doing? Um, where do I go? Man, why are you just walking around in like a freaking Where's Waldo t-shirt? Oh gosh. Judy sure has been acting odd lately. I still can understand her emotions like some... Like I understand the gears in my old Sherman tank. 
Oh, this is Stuart writing. Okay. Judy does cook better meals than the army did, though. She's been making more exotic meals recently with some sort of special ingredients. They do a good job at filling my belly, even if I do always feel sluggish afterwards. She isn't so bad, I guess. Our 45 years together could have been a lot worse. I can only hope that David chose better. Shop isn't the same since he passed on. Maybe his home life was happier than mine. I sure do hope so. I think I'll go visit his grave again tomorrow. I was just there today. But something about he how easygoing the graveyard is settles me. I'm going to have to do some repairs on that bridge soon, though. It creaks pretty awful and people walk over it. Someday soon, it may fail if I don't take a look at it. Okay. Ah, shucks. As it happens, the night I had with Judy after getting home from the war means she's pregnant. Had I known this would happen, I could have cooled my hots for her. I better... I better make a respectable woman out of her, just like my tank pals used to say. If a lady starts a grin and take care where he's swimming. It's too bad they sent us home so quick. I miss taking care of my tank. I was the best damn mechanic in Uncle Sam's army. My tank, now that was a lady I understood. After every skirmish, there was a bolt to tighten or a part to grease. Then Sherry would purr real nice. Real pretty. <laughs> real women don't sound the same as an M4A1 Sherman tank. They smell different too. Not bad, but different. <laughs> I'm going to have to come up with a job, and quick. If only there were a mechanic shop around here, I would. I know I would be a shoe-in for the job. No such luck, but maybe I can work on some sort of machinery in the coal mine. Judy's father, Magnus, owns that operation, so if he doesn't want to split me open like a nut for touching his child, then old man Magnus can use a man of my talents. Okay. Life sure is grand. Looking back at my past journal entries, it's amazing how worrisome I was. Of course my father-in-law would invest in a mechanic shop right here in Urisol. It's a dynamite business idea. He sure is a stand-up guy. He reminds me a lot of my tank pal, Chucky. Chucky always had a plan for the future, whether it was an exposition for the tank or the names of his children. Even in my downtime, I could make my own M4A1 Sherman tank right here at the new shop. It may take a while to scrounge together the parts, but it'll be the pride of every parade in the county. Okay, so you- oh, oh. Crap, okay. It's fine. Nothing happened. What are you talking about? Okay, um, I have a key. Is this for the gate? Yes, it is. Okay, now I can escape. Don't follow me, please. Okay, oh, more notes. Bad news today at the mine. A pair of miners went deep into the tunnel that we- that then we had support beams, and they got hurt in a small collapse. Burning was crushed by a large chunk of rock coming free, and Dahi was injured too. Those two troublemakers have been doing all kinds of things together lately. With the time miners have to put in, they must spend more time with each other other than their wives and children. I know Mar Marge is going to be fawning over Dahi when he gets home, though. Bless her heart. Magnus was down at the mine soon after the collapse and already promised Dahi an allowance to make up for the wages he lost in getting hurt. It must be good to be related to the boss. Let's see. If Dahi's car daughter, Kathy, is married to David, Judy's son, that makes David Dahi Magnus's darn... His grandfather's fun and son-in-law. Father-in-law, I suppose. I don't know where he got son. I don't know if there's a better way to say that. There's related is the point, and Magnus isn't completely heartless. Or he doesn't want the miners to unionize. Or he doesn't want the state or feds getting investigating the mine. Okay, that was a lot of new names that I've never heard before. I can't believe it's all over. I've been in this job for 32 years, and I'm now forced in retirement for the mine closing. I guess Magnus is getting tired from all the work over the years he had to do to keep it open. First there was a death, then there was a state work environment, investigator people, and now the mine is closed. It's admirable that he was able to keep it open as long as he did, but I guess it's all kaput now. I don't know what the miners will do. Move away, maybe? Wouldn't that be a shame for Magnus and his family? They would be all alone then, but there isn't any other work than the mine in Urasol, so maybe that's what it's going to be. I'm moving out for sure. There's nothing left for anyone in Urasol. Huh. Okay, what's over here? Another note. Finally, all my work has paid off. At the age of 30, I have become the foreman of Magnus's mine. I suppose Magnus sees the value in having a young guy like me up top. Some of the older miners are grumbling pretty loud about their jealousy, but there's a reason I was chosen over them. Magnus can see the value in me. Those fools can keep on grumbling. Alright. I don't really know who Jasper is or what relation he has to any of these people besides being one of the workers at the mine. And where is this mine anyways? I haven't seen any indication of a mine anywhere. Alright. Let's grab it. Truly, I am the luckiest woman on earth. I am so blessed to have my husband Dahi looking after me and our beautiful daughter, Catherine. Dahi works so hard, I swear he spends more time with the other miners than me than with me, so he can give Catherine and I all the things we need to live. We have a roof over our head and food on our plates. What more could a woman want? 
I hope Catherine will grow to understand how hard her father works for her. She's getting to that age where the devil can take hold, so I hope we are raising her right to appreciate the beautiful life we have. Alright. Oh, there's nothing over here. Okay, cool. So that was Dahi's wife, who I don't really know who Dahi is exactly. Uh, where do I go now? Oh. Um. I didn't, haven't, didn't get any keys or anything. Is there a hole over here? No. I don't know where to go. Uh, oh, there's a door here. Gotcha. Alright. So maybe the mine is down there somewhere. I don't know. Or maybe this is the path down to the mine. Okay, what's in here? Oh, this place is creaky. Oh god, okay, hi. Ah, they killed themselves. Cool. I work hard, and I hope my little Kathy will get benefit from it. She's the light in my world, and I'll do anything for her to have a better life than I did. My papa spent all his wages on moonshine. My brothers and I suffered awfully for it, but Kathy will live a better life. She deserves what I never had. That smile on her face when I get home from the mine keeps me going, but Marge's cooking does its share too. Whatever my feelings for burning may be, I will work hard for my family. Bernie and I can have our time together in the dark mine, but above ground, in the light, I belong to my family. Ooh. It's like having an affair with one of his mining buddies. Can you stop creaking? I'm trying to read. I can't take it no more, Bernie. Ever since that day we snuck off into the mine together and you got killed, I've missed you something awful. My woman cares for me, but you love me as only another man could. If I can't make peace with myself after all, after all these years, then I never will. I can't take it no more. I'll hang myself here in your home so we can be together even sooner. My gosh. Nothing can take the pain away now that the mind is close for good. Every time I hear my granddaughter's name, the stake in my heart is twisted just a little more. We thought naming her after you would be a tr fitting tribute to your life, but for me, it's only a painful reminder of your death. I can feel my memory of you fading away, and I can't take it no more. Our sins brought me too much pain to bear no longer. I hope I can see you soon, and God will forgive us. To find Dahi swinging here, and his thoughts on the page. I can't take it anymore, either. We love each other. The mind closing must have jumbled him up good. I'll be there soon, too, Dahi. Don't go down too- Don't go too far down that dark tunnel just yet. I'm coming to catch your hand. Who wrote that? Um, it says it was Dahi, but it wasn't. Someone else killed themselves. Maybe it was his wife? Oh gosh. That's scandalous. Alright. Let's keep going. Ooh, there's an outhouse. Uh, probably nothing in here. No. Alright. It's quite the walk. Another bridge. And this one's out too. Cool. We can just walk across here though. Yeah. See if there's anything over here, like a person died on the bridge, maybe? I wonder. It doesn't look like it. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, just hop around. Okay. This is open. Um, where are we? Okay, this looks somewhat like a whole mining area. It keeps, uh, materials and stuff. Okay. Catherine, I'm ready to settle down with a husband, but none of the miners are the right age for me. They're all too old, and they got bad coughing fits too. Maybe marrying a miner is not what I should do. I guess I don't like, I don't, I guess I don't have to follow my parents exactly. But I can still end up happy like them. I've been looking elsewhere for a husband, and I think I found one in David, the mechanic's son. They do good hands-on work too, just like the miners. I bet a life with David would be perfect. He would work hard to give me and our children the things we want. He's just got to like me enough to marry him. I've seen the way he looks at me when he thinks I'm not looking. All I gotta do is make it easy for him. Alright, so seduction. I like it. Alright, what's in here? Anything? Nope. It's timber and barrels. Okay, mess hall. Nope. Mama, Papa, and me sure do have a good life here in Eurosol. I love my Mama and Papa, and when I get big, I'll have a family just like this one, and I'll be happy forever too. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing this is when she was a kid. Uh, this is definitely kid speak. I'll find a boy someday to, to be just like my papa, and I'll be just like mama. The boys in the school aren't like papa, though. They, maybe they will get like him when they grow up more and work in the mine. All of papa's friends are miners. Maybe one of them has a son who will, I will marry one day. He'll work in the mines all day to take care of me, and when he comes home, I'll take care of him. That's how it works. Yeah. Maybe in this time. Okay. 
What is that? Coal? I don't even know. Is this a coal mine? I think that's what they were saying it was. Okay, so that's where it collapsed, I guess. Um, now these cars are really tiny. But that, man, that car, that truck at the beginning was massive. I actually want to stand next to it and see how big it was. Alright. Mm, nothing in here, it doesn't look like. Here we go. Oh gosh, okay. Why, David? Why can't you just act the way you're supposed to? 20 long years together, waiting for you to mature. And now I can see you'll never get there. You're just like Papa after all. In the end, he went and ruined everything because he couldn't just be happy taking care of Mama and me. Why can't you just be how you're supposed to? I work hard to take care of you, but all you want to do is go hunting or fishing or take walks without me. There's never been a less grateful husband in all the world. Well, just like Papa, you can take your own life. Oh, gosh, okay. I found some plants in the valley that will put you to right to sleep quick. You will never wake up again. I hope you enjoy your dinner tonight, because that's going to be your last one. All I wanted was for things to stay like they were when I was young. First, my Papa and Mama took themselves away, and I realized David can't be like he's supposed to. Why can't things just work out for me? Where's the man who'll give me everything I deserve? I don't know, but it isn't David. What's up with the people killing themselves or other people in this town? What the heck? I wonder Burnett's crazy. Everybody else killed themselves. Or just committed like several Oh gosh. Several acts of murder. Oh god, hello. Uh, the gate scared me and I turned around and then she's right there. Freaking Burnett. Okay, so she's gonna be- Yep, she is. Crap! Okay, you suck. Just run past, just run past. Get a head start. Okay, we're good here. We're good here. Um, I missed a house. Oh, gosh. Burnett. Oh, okay. Uh, this is her. Dear Diary, today was Grandma Marge and Grandpa Dahi's wake. It's super sad what happened. I just saw them on Friday, and now I'll never see them again. It's not fair. They didn't even have the coffins open to see them. I thought that's how funerals were, but not for Grandpa, Grandma and Grandpa. I already miss them a lot. I love you, Burnett. Dear Diary, is it just me or is Grandma Judy acting really weird? She's never home and I stopped by to say hello. How rude. She's going, used to, She used to be there all the time to talk to me about stuff. Now she's always out somewhere. Apparently she's getting super into Great Grandpa Magnus's business. She's spending a lot, a lot of time with him and Brad. I thought Gigi Magnus was going to give his businesses to Brad to handle, but maybe it's going to stay in the family with Grandma Judy? That'd be pretty cool, I guess. Every, eventually I could run everything. Dad is doing his mechanic stuff, so maybe Grandma will give it right to me. I still miss talking to her, though. Oh, gosh. Diary. There's something really weird going on. We just got back from Daddy's funeral. Mom isn't even crying. It's like she doesn't even realize that Dad is dead. What are we even going to do? I'm almost... I'm only almost about 19 years old, and I'll never see my dad again. It's like the bitch doesn't even care. Dad, miss you so much. Grandpa Stewart still spends a lot of time at his mechanic shop, and Grandma Judy hangs out with Grand... Great Grandpa Magnus and Brad, so I don't know what I'll do. My family is always busy, busy, busy. I'll just hang out and read, I guess. So that um, her mom murdered her dad, so that's why she wasn't crying. Pretty sure, if I remember correctly, because I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I just read that note. Okay, a lot of these houses are just totally empty. Ah, uh, okay, more letters. Diary. Grandpa Stewart was buried today. I should have spent more time with him at the mechanic sh his mechanic shop. Now the shop will close or become a junkyard. Is it usual for a young girl to lose everyone in her life the way I have lost everyone in mine? I noticed Grandma Judy isn't crying, just says Mom was a cry after Dad died. Surely that isn't a normal response. The books tell me that death is a sorrowful thing. To weep is to make less the depth of grief, Shakespeare said. What if Mom and Grandma don't feel any grief? That would explain the glaring omission of tears. But what would even cause that? Both of them lost their husbands, and yet neither of them seem to feel any grief. They must be missing something. Diary. I still can't believe the contents of all the diaries I have found blatantly laying around. It started with going to see Grandma Judy and finding her diary on the coffee table. The way she treated Grandpa Stewart is sickening. Then I find my own, own mother's diary. In all my studies, I have never found a pair of books so full of sin. At the family dinner tonight, it all ends for them. And Grand Grandpa Magnus and Brad as well. They are all guilty of heinous crimes, and as... Martin Luther King Jr. said, The hottest place in hell is reserved for those who remain no neutral in times of great moral conflict. This world is too good for them, and I will correct this moral conflict myself. I found the herbs in the valley that Grandma and Mom talked about in their diaries. It would be quite the dramatic irony that they will be killing themselves the same way they made their husbands kill themselves. When all this is over, the cosmos will return to the proper ordered state. 
What a day of work I have had. Four more lumps of earth in the church graveyard, and now I've run out the and now I've run of the town. Everyone else left when the mine closed down all those years ago, so I'm used to the isolation. It is nice to have an entire town at my disposal, even if it's empty. No one so much as visits anymore, so I'll have this entire kingdom to myself. When the world once again balanced, I can live out my days in peace as a hermit. So she just murdered everyone left, and now she's all alone. That's a good, good plan. Oh, okay. You reach the bottom of the valley, but she is on your tail. You make it, barely, to your car, and speed off before she catches you. Who was she? Why was she after you? What happened in that town? The scattered notes hold the key, but you did not find them all. Oh, I didn't? Oh, man. Alright. I probably missed, like, one key. Or uh, one letter. Alright, so, that was Erusol. That was pretty interesting. Um... There wasn't much depth to the gameplay at, at all, really. Oh, I just realized why it's called that. Because uh, in Jerusalem, it has it highlighted there. Okay, that makes sense now. Um, anyways, <laughs> this... I like the story. Um, it actually... They're pretty well-versed in writing. I like that. I enjoyed reading all the different entries. And it was somewhat comprehensible, and I could follow the whole story, especially with all the branching family relations and all that. That got kind of convoluted at some points, especially when they introduced Dahi and all those people. But I, I could still follow it pretty well, and I enjoyed reading it. Um, that's basically what this is. I mean, on the page, store page is described as some funky word, but it just means a like a story that's told through notes and stuff. Um, so that's what it was, and that's what I was expecting, but it was still interesting and enjoyable to play so you can check out this game for yourself if you would like um you can maybe find the other notes or i saw people that were like speed running this in like a minute so you can do that too <laughs> if you really want to but i like this so you can check out my review as well in the description below and i will see you next week